Are you working on cleaning up your back tuck? Do you notice that your hips shoot forward and you end up landing short? Have you landed short on like the balls of your feet and jammed up maybe your toes or your ankles? In this game film breakdown, an athlete sent us a video of her tuck and she's doing pretty much the exact same thing. So let's take a look at her video, let's break down what mistakes she's making and let's show her exactly what we need to do to correct her undercutting back tuck. So as we can see, when she's doing her back tuck on the tumble track, she is landing, which number one, great thing. We always wanna make sure that we're landing safely, but we can see that as she's doing it, her hips are shooting forward and she's almost doing kind of like a gainer. Now what we can do to fix this is we can start to address the problem that she has and that is the direction that her tuck is going. Hers kind of goes up and forward instead of going up and slightly back. For this, we're gonna do three exercises that can help to address this. The first one is going to be a tuck jump up to a mat. For this exercise, we'd have you take a folded panel mat and put it directly behind you. When we do our tuck, we wanna make sure that as we squat, our shoulders are stacked on top of our knees. Those are also stacked on top of our toes. That will help us to create power in the right direction. From here, we would squat down, jump up, and then land on the mat directly behind us. Now with this, be safe. Don't get mats that are too tall that you end up tripping over. But what you should work on is increasing the height of how many mats that you can jump back onto. By getting into the proper tuck position to start off, jumping up and landing on the mats, that ensures us that we're creating power efficiently and we're generating power in the right direction. Once we know that we're generating power in the right direction and we're getting good height, the next exercise we'll have you do is a jump to roll up. From here, we would take a stack of mats and place them just about at the bottom of the shoulder blade. From here, we'd have our athlete squat down and jump up onto the panel mats. Now, the goal here is to not push the mats backwards. We want to get up and on top of the mats. Once we reach the top of the mat, our athlete will aggressively drive the knees up towards the chest, pulling the hips to rotate over themselves. Remember, any tuck that we do, the rotation is not through the legs, it's the hips. We can move our legs all we want, but if the hips are not rotating, the, the tuck will never happen. So for this, we'd have our athlete again stand in front of our mats, aggressive jump up, really aggressive knee and hip drive over until we land in the tuck position. Make sure that we own this position at the top before we come back down off the mat. And lastly, we will actually get into our tuck. Now we do have a mat or a tool in the gym that is very, very helpful with helping us guide the direction of our tumbling. And that is good old faithful cheese mat. For this exercise, we would have our athlete start to work on her tuck on the cheese mat. It's very, very hard to undercut a tuck when you're on a sloped surface. And because our landing spot is lower than our takeoff spot, it does give us a lot of assistance with making the full rotation. Not as much as a tumble track, but it does help tremendously. So for this athlete, I would suggest after we've mastered the two previous exercises, we begin working on our back tuck on the cheese mat or the wedge. As we get more comfortable with that, that tool, the athlete should then start to work her way down to where she's going from the wedge mat onto the floor. When she gets to a point to where her feet are barely on the edge of the wedge and she's able to land on the floor, we know that she's generating A, enough power to land the tuck, and B, we know we're going in the right direction because we are going from an object off of the object. If we work on these three skills, one, two, and three in that order, and we work on this every day we're in the gym, at least 10 to 15 reps of each exercise, this athlete will notice a tremendous difference in her back tuck. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you found this information helpful or beneficial, give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear if you are also working on these skills. If you would like more videos like this, click on the link above. And if you haven't already, stop being silly, subscribe to the channel right here, click the bell for notifications so that you stay up to date with our latest videos.